Schneider. Hi, Mr. Romano. Hey, Julie's home. Julie! Not here. She went out. Oh. Well, Schneider, what are you doing here? Still working on that switch? No, I'm just sitting here waiting for you. <laughs> I want to be the first one to give you the big news about Julie. What big news? I can just see your faces when you hear it. What big news? What happened? Of course, on the other hand, maybe I shouldn't be the first to tell you. you know. Schneider. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be the one to break the big news about Julie. Sensational as it is. <laughs> OK, don't tell us. Uh, Barbara, would you put the skis away? Sure. You mean to tell me you don't want to hear the news about your own daughter? Ma, where would you like me to put the skis? Oh, I think the bedroom is. OK, funny. OK. <sighs> Julie. Julie went to the market. <laughs> now, that's all you're going to squeeze out of me. That's it. That's all. No, no. This is too big. I mean, this, this happens once in a girl's lifetime. Uh, maybe twice. <laughs> well, you live in Southern California seven or eight times. <laughs> Lamb chops, potatoes. Asparagus. <laughs> that's it. That's the last clue. Hey, that's the last clue, okay? The last one. <laughs> you know, I love what you've done with this apartment, you know? Something old, something new, something borrowed. Look at this, it's blue. Julie's getting married? You're psychic! <laughs> When? Where? What happened? Miss Romano, I don't think I should be the one to tell you. Schneider, who uh, is she marrying? She, 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 she's gonna, she's gonna marry Fred. Fred who? I don't know. Who, who does he look like? I don't know. What's his last name? I don't know. What, what does he do for a living? I don't know that. What do you know? Well, he, he, he can wiggle his asparagus. <laughs> his ear. Ears. That's it? He can wiggle his ears? That's it. Julie's getting married? <laughs> It's only been gone a week. This is ridiculous. Do you suppose we'll get to meet him before she marries him? Well, yeah, he's going to stop by here on his way home. Matter of fact, he should be here in two minutes. Two minutes? Yes, and I must say, this place is an M-E-S-S. -S. Uh, yes, uh, Barbara, <laughs> please stop. <laughs> Mom, Barbara, wait until you hear. You heard. <laughs> They guessed it. She was the one. Uh, Mom, Tell Mom, me, no, no. What? You're going to love him, and he's here. Fred! Oh, well, let's hurry it up, babe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's been a long day, and I want to hit the sack. Fred, Nixnay on El Filto. <laughs> no, this isn't Fred. This is the cab driver. We need to change. <laughs> Oh, you're not, Fred. <sighs> How nice. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Fred. I'm Ann. I'm Max. Max. Hi, everybody. Fred? Hold it. Can you wiggle your ears? Yeah. Hey, Fred. <laughs> Mom, this is Fred Clinton. Hi, Miss Romano. Hello, Fred. Julie Clinton, not bad. <laughs> Fred, this is my ugly sister, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> and, uh, oh, this is Max Horvath, Fred's best friend. The three in three's a crowd. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dwayne Schneider, the building superintendent. Guys, I'm into hang gliding. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm George Stubbs. Look, my motor's running and there's a gas shortage. Oh, I'm sorry, has anybody got change for a 20? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can break that for you. Maya's got $20. That's more than any date Julie's ever had. 